Hi friends, I just wanted to um, check in with you to tell you about a day that I'll be running in a few uh, weeks called Gathering of the Heart, which is a day workshop. And really what I want to focus on is um, sharing what does that mean and what is this day going to be about and how will it help you? So it's called Gathering of the Heart because for me, um, when we drop down from our thinking egoic mind and we come and drop into our heart there is a sense of expansion there's a sense of joy there's a sense of love there's a sense of um, presence and ultimately when we're in our heart space it's so much more softer and kinder than the egoic fear-based mind and really the reason I've decided to do this day workshop is because I understand how important it is to have time to be, time to connect, time to commit to yourself, actually, and your own awakening journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's actually paramount to have time to do that. And... Um, and from my own experience, when I set a goal like that, it's a commitment to God. It's saying, I want to wake up God and I'm willing to put in the time to connect with you, to open my heart and to listen to your love, your guidance and your voice. So if you're at a time in your life when you're feeling that is the way you want to live, you want to live a guided life, an authentic life, a life that is in alignment to your heart, to your spirit, to your soul. You want to sing your own tune. That is the tune of the divine. And you're ready to really drop into that space, which brings us peace. And I know my goal is that definitely what I want in my my life I want the peace of God and you don't have to believe in God because it is who you are anyway and you can call it any name you choose you can call it love spirit universe higher power Allah Buddha Krishna um, nature mother earth a name doesn't really matter because that the essence of it is vast it's universal it's in the quantum field which is boundless and eternal and that is who you are beyond this body and really that is what awakening means we're moving beyond the identity of a body and we're aligning with source so this day is for exactly that for gathering together a gathering of the heart, the one heart, the one mind, the one truth that we are divine, we are love, and we are eternal. Anything else is egoic, is fear-based, and very painful. And I know, again, for myself and people I work with, there's so many more people deciding they want this authentic, connected life, where, quite frankly, this persona, this um, identity as, as a body, as Anne-Marie, just thank you very much, is going to take a side step and just rest so that I can align and bring my energy into the now, into the presence, to open up to the divinity and the love and the innocence and the joy that I am. And that is you too, because there is only one mind. And that's what we're waking up to. So the day will consist of being in presence, opening our hearts, of course. <laughs> um, and to feel safe to open our heart is actually paramount because the world, the egoic world has taught us to close our heart, to watch our back, that it's not safe out there in the world. And that's very limiting, very restricting, and it's not living at all. 
to live a truly authentic, heartfelt, joyous, flowing life, we really have to open up to, as I say, our divinity to be guided purely by that. And then when we are guided by that, we know there is absolutely nothing to fear. Ah, oh, just by speaking those words, I feel a great depth of peace. And there are going to be days when I feel that and the days when I don't, and I'm sure you're the same. But as I say, joining and gathering in our hearts, we can allow that to be present for us. There'll be opportunities to express your heart, the desire of your heart, and also relieve yourself of any burdens and egoic fear-based thinking and beliefs to put it and place it on the altar to God and to expose this darkness because we all have it anything that isn't of peace and love is the egoic fear-based world so when we can express it and bring it to the light that is our job and then spirit God the universe will create the miracle will help us remember who we are and ultimately this is the healing that we're all seeking really to be at peace and at one there'll be opportunities uh, for meditation to go inwards which i will guide of course there'll be exercises that help us to connect to our heart to connect to another um, to see our brother to see our sister as one as love and a big part of that is forgiveness, uh, quantum forgiveness, which means seeing the other person exactly as ourselves and that the, the, the divine God does not see anything to forgive because God, the divine, just loves. It can't do anything but love. And that's why it's so painful when we've, judged another or we blamed another or we separated from another it's very very painful because we separated from god that's the wound that we're healing it's not about the person <laughs> we think it is but it isn't so this quantum forgiveness is key it's absolutely key and if we don't do it we're just going down dead ends all the time we have to learn to forgive on this higher level because there's just one of us here really so when i'm forgiving what I perceive has happened in another, I'm actually forgiving myself. And when I point a finger out, it's coming right back at me. And this is a high metaphysical place to be, but it's the truth. And if you truly want freedom, then this is, this is part of the practice, this forgiveness, true quantum forgiveness. So we'll have opportunities to practice that, to expose anything that's been hidden, um, as I said, to have um, yeah, joyful experiences, to be lifted by our mighty companions that we're gonna share the day with. It's so key because they're all mirrors to our mind. They're all reflecting back to us so much. And as we learn to see that and embrace that and embrace our brother, embrace our sister, we join, we join, we don't separate. And so that really is the emphasis of the day in joining and opening up to living an authentic life, a life that is in alignment with the truth of our heart. So if you're feeling that calling and you want to have a space of grace to come and be as you are, without any judgment, without any expectation, you would be very, very welcome. Um, so there's details on my website, which is annemariemarchant.co.uk. It is £45 for the day. Bring your a lunch to share. We'll have a joined lunch. And we will allow the grace of God to unfold and lift, and lift us. Um, so if you have any questions at all, please get in touch. And there's only a couple of spaces left now, but I just wanted to share this video for those of you who are possibly interested and just weren't quite sure. Um, and before I leave you, I um, want to give you this little gift, a little opportunity to sit with your heart for about five minutes with me as I play a song, which I came across a couple of months ago. And when I heard it, just 
wow, my heart just, <laughs> just exploded with love. And it hit me really deeply and really affirmed to me, I want an authentic life dedicated to being guided, worked, th uh, spoken through, if you like, done through. I don't want to be the doer anymore, basically. I want to live this guided, authentic life. So this beautiful song is by a wonderful lady called Ricky Kama, uh, and I'll put the details of it underneath so you can see and maybe download uh, her album because it's been incredibly, incredibly uh, powerful for me, as I've said, and there's some, I know that she's um, living this life, this guided life. So just sit comfortably, um, maybe take a few breaths and just close your eyes and give yourself permission to have this time to be first and foremost, <laughs> to know that it's okay to give your, yourself this time to just settle into the chair and just take a couple of beautiful deep breaths to really focus within to bring your awareness to the present moment, to be a compassionate observer, to be kind to yourself, and just being willing to, for a moment, drop into your heart the sacred space of love. Just bring your awareness into your heart. You may feel the rise and the fall of your chest as you focus on your heart space. It has many gifts for you, many love notes it wishes to share with you. And as I put this song on, just let it wash through you. Just be completely receptive and open and trusting. And allow the words to land in your soul and in your heart. And just breathe and be present. So I hope you enjoy this song which is called Authentic Life by Ricky Como. Empty fears Decades of tears And I'm wondering why I by the lies well, I set my sights on a guided life and I will feed my hunger to be one with my creator I don't want to pay a price and live a life Guide. I just want to follow through and come to truth and be spoken through. Love 
was my calling Just let that land. A beautiful song. Words of truth. It's really touched my heart. I hope it touched your heart too. Such a gift to have such beautiful words, and music, and experiences, and way showers too. Take our hand when we've lost the way, where we've forgotten who we really are. So, I wish you a beautiful day and pray that you open your heart to living an authentic and guided life. Thank you. Sending you love and blessings.